Hey, Joel, there was one more thing I was wanting to point out um, today. Like, when you hit, when you play your scale, root, second, third, fifth, sixth, all those notes repeat. Root, second, third, fifth, sixth. Root, second, third, fifth, sixth. So, um, a lot of times you want to find the same note of octave higher. So you would go, if I wanted to find the root of octave higher, I'd go one, two, three, five, six, one. There's the next octave. And if I wanted to find an octave higher, one, two, three, five, six, one, there's the next octave. And not just the one, you could find the, the, the five. Like a lot of times we find the five, an octave higher. So one, two, three, five. So if I want to find my next five, there it is. Well, instead of having to play the scale, I do what I call octave jumping. So hit the string six fret three, we'll use this as an example. Um, to, to jump octave, come down two strings and over two frets. And that, you don't have to climb your scale to find it, you just down and over, down two, over two. Um, this works from the A to the G string. Um, so I'm gonna use this C as an example. Down two, over two. Now, when you get to the D string to the B string, or to the from the G string to the E string, you have to actually add three frets. So I'll use F as an example. String four fret three is a F. Come down two, I have to add three because of that adjustment. So that little adjustment shows up everywhere. It shows up in your pentatonic scales. It shows up right here. You have to adjust it over an extra fret. And um, it's the same thing from the third string, third fret. I would have to go to the first string, sixth fret. I would have to, have to add um, three frets to do an octave jump. So you just add two frets here, two frets, three frets, and three frets. This comes in really handy when you're doing um, like Tom Dooley. And you play it there, then you want to jump an octave. You can quickly find the same, I'm in the same key, it's just an octave higher.